Hi guys, I'm gonna show you how to replace uh, uh, pump on the Bexy boiler 105HE. Uh, what's the reason I want to replace the pump? Okay, you can see this light is flashing top of the triangle, and that means the pump is not working properly. Even look at the manual, it tells you you have a problem with the pump. So before you start work on the boiler, you need to find uh, this point is a draining point. It should be on your radiator, which is uh, downstairs, not upstairs. So you need to find that point and uh, drain the water from there from the system you need to drain a hole the system so best thing if you find a hose pipe connect to the draining point and then just uh, lose the draining uh, the So I lose that root thing. The other side, if you have a toilet or bath, so just put the other side in there because you can see it's loads of dirty water coming out. Next step you need to do, you need to find the, you need to go upstairs and lose all the radiator. screws so as your system can drain properly if you don't lose them and uh, the water still gonna be in the boiler Now a drain hole the system you can see the gauge is right to the end and you have to wait a little while to drain hole the system. Now I'm gonna open them screws. It has two Phillips screws. Lose them, then you can lift this uh, part up. You can take it off. Now you can see there's a four screws here, one, two, three, and one, four. I'm going to use this uh, torque set thing to open them. I'm gonna remove the pump and still let me water in but it's not much. Now the pump is out, <coughs> you have to open this screw so take the wires off. <coughs> Thank you. 
now you can see all the wires inside here and you just press these ones these clip things you can take the wires out one two three and before you start work on the boiler you make sure you have returned the power off now I'm put putting the different pump on which is a recondition and make sure you have to put the wires the right way Now the brown wire is going to go in alive, so same procedure, pull the clip back, push the wire in there, that's in. Now the blue one, which is a neutral, goes in. Now the earth is a green. all the wires in the cover back on the put screw back as well now I'm gonna put the pump back on there I need to put four screws back on and make sure it sits in properly before you put the screws on three now I'm putting all the screws back on Now put the pump back in, now tight all the screws, next time I'm gonna fill the system up again and same time you need to drain all the radiators. Now I'm gonna fill the system back up again and make sure the gauge there should go more than the, the green mark. After this I need to drain the radiators again, take all the air out. the radiators before I start the boiler to check it it's air coming out because the radiator is empty that's why it just yeah, spread out now I'm gonna try to bucket so guys I drained the whole system and uh, take the air out of all the radiators. Now we're going to put it on and see 
Hopefully it works and fix the problem. Now you can see the light is gone and the bowl is working perfect now. So you, hopefully you can fix the problem next time you know and you enjoy it. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, okay. Let's start. Yeah, that's the one. Leave it on. Yeah. Record something. Put it over there. Check the phone. Don't record the phone. Okay. 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 Okay